The following is a Mission Studios podcast. Please remember my little Podverse family, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on your podcast platform of choice. It helps me out and works the algorithm to get better rankings and bring our little podcast family to more listeners. Thank you, and on with the show. Welcome to the Podverse podcast. We like to stir up minds, emotions, and thoughts. Episodes will be emotional, some will be a bit comical, and everything else in between. But all will have a message and be given from the heart. So sit back, get comfy, and enjoy the journey. How are you? Are you okay? What you up to? We often get asked these questions on autopilot, and we have become so conditioned to the same general auto responses. Oh, I'm okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. How about you? These are everyday questions and answers that we have on autopilot. Have we stopped being authentic? Or are we conditioning ourselves because of something underlying? I know sometimes those answers are real. But how often do we actually stop ourselves from using the auto answers if they're different? I think mostly we just let the autopilot take over. In my life, there are not many that I do not use the autopilot with. My brother, my partner, and maybe a friend or two. Everyone else gets standard. I have for a few days now been trying to figure out why I did this to myself. I'm not in any way anxious about people knowing who I am. My thoughts on this are, you know, if they don't like me, it's no sweat off my back. But sometime in the last few years, I started this autopilot lifestyle. Do I think less of myself, or am I questioning my relationships? I have been digging in my head, trying to itemize my thoughts and learn why. Are we secretive or guarded? Is there a reason we do not want others to know what is really going on with us? Or are we afraid of the possibility of rejection? Maybe we have had our thoughts and concerns pushed aside and flattened, just to have someone else's pushed upon us as we end up frustrated and resenting the fact that we even opened our mouths. Well, part of me seems to think I am so conditioned to the humdrum of the everyday. It seems that it is what everyone expects anyways. Really, how many people are actually going to take the time out of their busy days to sit and chat with me about my sh- uh, stuff? <laughs> I know on a regular basis in my experience, I really enjoy hearing what other people are up to. Sharing gives me a deeper perspective on what makes people tick and creates intimacy. An intimacy that opens doors and helps people build great relationships. This kind of communication also gives me ideas and ways to broaden other relationships with new experiences, or ways to listen better and build other relationships. In my opinion, that is what life is all about living and sharing, building with those around us to make a life for each other better, richer, and more rewarding. Sharing, even the bad stuff, does all of this for us. So why don't we do it more often and more openly? When, no, how do we weed out our programmed responses and allow ourselves to be open without caring if we get dejected and find the peeps that want to hear our thoughts? Yeah, a good point to self. Let's look at the flip side. How do we go about finding those that really care enough to listen? I know I would like to have more people that are genuinely interested in me to listen when they ask. How are you doing? They're asking because they really give a crap about us. Not asking so they can glaze over as we answer and then give us their plateful because their intention was really to get you engaged so you could focus on them. Maybe we have created our autopilot responses because we have become desensitized to the questions because it is asked so disingenuously more often than not. I realize now, looking back, I do ask it a lot, and I can picture some of the times asking just because the person has come walking up and I don't want to be rude. Question in your head time. Thinking back, when was the last time you responded to a question with your programmed response? Or asked someone how they were because you felt you had to. They were coming, and you were caught between a rock and a hard place. Part of you wanted to tell them just to leave you alone. But you swallowed it and gave them your programmed answer anyhow. With all that said, I know there are times we are genuine, and when we do ask, we focus our attention on the person and answer with a genuine response like, Oh, that is awesome! Or, sorry to hear that, is there anything I can do to help? Because sometimes 
we also do listen when asked. This week, my little Podverse family, let's task ourselves. If we are asking, or if we are going to be asked the programmed questions, we should be respectful enough to ask and answer with the attention we expect from them. Let's send the respect of being asked and asking with the love and attention we would expect in the opposing situation. Also, this week, I would like to extend my hand. I have received a few emails asking me questions. If there is anything you would like to hear my opinion on and chat with you about, feel free to send me an email. Email me your topic and let me know if it's okay to use your name and location. I will definitely put it out there for you. The email and socials are given at the end of the pod. Be safe, be informed, and be well, my little Podverse family. I love you all. See you next week. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Podverse Podcast. Whatever you take from this message, it is given freely and with the utmost respect. Any support for the Podverse Podcast is always welcome and can be left at our website, www.pod-verse.com. Whether support is by way of suggestion, story, constructive criticism, or maybe you wish to sponsor an episode, there is never any obligation. We just hope to create a wonderful experience for you in this Podverse community. Also, be sure to check us out on our social media. Join us on Facebook at Podverse Podcast Group or on Twitter at Pod underscore Verse. Chat with you in the next episode.